Akrani and she is studying in class 7. We are both from Sanin Salam Murad School. Our sub team for this project is sub team number 3, Social and Cultural Practices for Ecosystem and Health. Under sub team number 3, we chose title number 13, study on sustainable menstruation as a means to avoid plastic waste. We came up with this project as teacher in our school had taught us to draw our plastic surgery machines inside the dustbin. How about the dustbin? Some of them would try out a window in which our school's neighbors complain, which is very embarrassing for us. As for that, through the cooperation with Smart City, we got an electric incinerator. But having the electric incinerator, we still stop throwing their plastic surgery napkins outside of the window. But since the burning of the electric incinerator produces many toxic gases, we decided to came up with the idea to make eco-friendly sanitary napkins. It comes in two types, one time use sanitary napkins and reusable sanitary napkins. Our aim for this project is to study on sustainable menstruation as a means to avoid plastic waste. As for our objective, we have four objectives. Our first objective is to compare sustainable menstruation napkins with the traditional plastic napkins. Our second objective is to prove that sustainable menstruation napkins are more affordable and long-lasting. Our third objective is to conduct awareness about the benefit and impact of the sustainable menstruation napkins so that it can easily, easily be available. Our fourth objective is to show the sustainability environmental friendliness and pollution free of sustainable menstruation is a As far as I can see, it with greater awareness of the environment impact of product, official product are more likely to choose the environmental friendly product option. Methodology, procedure, and maps. As you can see here, for our study area, we chose our school's location. Book on eyes on Mizoram, and we know that it's the location of three or something wrong. We got notice pictures from Google Earth Camera. As you can see, we went to three or something ground and interviewed their supervisor, who's all and his assistant. From what we have heard, due to the of people and machines, they put all the garbage that come together in one place and there the red pickers separate the plastics. As you can see in the picture, some are wearing gloves for some are not. And the gloves they are wearing are also cotton gloves in which water and microorganisms could penetrate through, which is very bad for our health and could cause diseases like HIV, pathogens, staphylococcus, which are the root cause of hepatitis and tetanus. And you can see beside it is our school electric incinerator. Since it produces many toxic gases, we decided to make the eco-friendly sanitary napkins. To make this, we need the material of a ruler, pen or marker, scissors, parchment paper, parchment sheet, sewing machine, sewing pins, and iron, cotton, cotton fabric and wool fabric. And here is our two different type of eco-friendly sanitary napkins. First is the reusable sanitary napkins. First, to make this, we cut out cotton in which the length is 9 inch, the breadth is 3 inch, and the thickness is 1 inch. As you can see, we cover it up with wool fabric and then sew the sides up, and then after that, we cover it with cover for, uh, cotton fabric again and sew it up. And that's how we made the reusable sanitary napkins. And here is the one time use sanitary napkins. To make this, we cut out cotton in which the length is 9 inch, the breadth is 3 inch, and the thickness is 1 inch. After that, we cover it up with canvas paper and tape it up. Then we cover it with parchment sheet and iron all the sides and cut it up. And that's how we made both the reusable and one time use the cover mist and dry napkins. <coughs> Before use, we sterilize both the napkins. First, we put both the napkins inside a steel pot and then we toss the lid and put the steel pot inside the pressure cooker. Then we pour in 400 ml of water inside the pressure cooker and close the lid and boil in LPG burner for 10 minutes while putting it on steam. And that's how we made the reusable and eco friendly silicon napkins and it is now sterilized and ready to be used. Overall graph, we made a questionnaire which contained 15 questions and then 15 people from class 5 to class 8, which are the age between 10 to 15, answer. <coughs> and to extend it, we let their family and neighbors answer the same question, which are the age between 15 to 45 plus. As you can see, we took out four important questions out of those 15 questions, which are related to our main objective. Question number 1, 3, 8, and 15. As you can see, the first question, out of 100%, 97% are using single-use sanitary napkins. Another 100%. 48.6 do not know that 
to the effect the single use centric against comments on the environment. And about 100 percent, 57.8 percent are willing to switch to reusable sanitary napkins if it's available nearby. And about 100 percent, 91.7 percent, doesn't know that reusable sanitary napkins are better for the environment. Data analysis and interpretation. We did a case study on plastic and decomposable sanitary napkins. Plastic sanitary napkins using one day is usually three packs per day, which is also the same as decomposable. And the, the number of menstruation during one month is five days in average, which is all the which is also the same in decomposable. So the number of sanitary napkins used in one month will be around 50 packs, which is also also the same in decomposable. So if this the number of one plastic sanitary napkins costs around six rupees, while the number of one sanitary decomposable napkins costs around 19 rupees. <coughs> If we sum it up, the number of sentient napkins used in one month will be around 90 rupees, while the number of sentient napkins used in one month is 385 in decomposable. And then if we sum it all up again, the number of sentient napkins used in one year will be around 1080 rupees, and the number of decomposable sentient napkins used in one year will be 285 since it is reusable. The suggested improvement, we, did have all, we also did a case study on decomposing sea waste product according to Zorum statistic. The weight of plastic per pack is 2.4 grams. The number of sanitary napkins used in one month is 15, so the number of plastic waste produced during one month is 36 grams. So the number of plastic waste produced during one year is 432 grams. The number of female used napkins in one year, we took from the age between 10 to 49. As you can see, from their females are 353,000. If we sum it up, it will be around 152.496 tons. Result, from the above observation and other analysis and interpretation, it is hence proven due to lack of awareness and unavailability of reusable sanitary napkins. Less female have to resort in the use of single use sanitary napkins since they are unaware of other options that are available and adapt colors to environment. Conclusion and discussion. Based on our hypothesis and result, we came in to let you know about how most of the less female are unaware of the effect that single use sanitary cause to the environment. Unless single use sanitary napkins, which cannot decompose and turn into microplastic as they break down, contaminating soil, air, and water, and also entering the food chain by injecting toxins into the food humans and animals consume. Washable or reusable sanitary napkins are free from these toxins and they can be used for several years. <coughs> and since they are made of environmental friendly materials, they are safe for future generations as well as, as, well as saving the environment as a whole. Burning of plastic waste toxic gases like furans, dioxins, and mercury into the atmosphere, which increase the risk of heart disease, respiratory, such as asthma and asthma, and cause rushes, nausea, and damage the nervous system. Hence, a sustainable step towards tomorrow's cleaner and healthier environment with the immediate attention of the environmentalists and scientists. Future plan. For our first future plan is to carry an awareness campaign about the harmful effects the single use sanitary napkins causes on the environment. Our second future plan is to conduct awareness campaign about the options that are available to replace the single use sanitary napkins. Our third future plan is to inform the mass on how to make their own sanitary napkins even if it's not easily available for purchase. Our fourth future plan is to inculcate consciousness among local businessmen using local newspaper or magazines so that it may display the company sanitary napkins making it easier for purchase. That's all for this project. Thank you. Thank you.